Sky, sign of Leo. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for January, the monthly for 2021. So this is for January, the monthly 2021. Thank you all for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. I appreciate all the interaction in, you know, with this channel and I wanna send my gratitude to you. So we begin by calling in the divine white light to surround us while we do this reading and surround you while you watch this reading. Calling in our angel spirit guides, higher self, divine wisdom to come in and give us some help with the message for the greater good of the sign of Leo. So this deck right here is the archetype deck, Kim Cran's Wild Unknown. We start off with that. All right, for Leo, for Leo. Leo, let's see how many... How many is this? Goodness. All right. So we're taking two off because that's that's a lot. <clears throat> oh, the forest. That's nice. And a gapey. A gapey. So let me look this up for you. The forest. Okay. Leo, I think this is a good card. I'm wanting to say it is it is the woods the thicket the jungle it says consider for a moment that your earliest memory <clears throat> what your earliest memory of the forest is is likely to include all the mythic dynamics of this archetypal space a little fear a little enchantment perhaps losing your way perhaps discovering a secret mystical treasure such is the magic of the forest. So it first requires you enter it and then get lost within it. There are tricksters there, dense foliage and entanglement, but equally present are glimmers of fairy light and friends among the trees. You're on an adventure now and there's no turning back. So embrace the dim light and the moving shadows. Magic abounds. Ooh, nice. See, magic. Magic abounds. Childlike wonder and adventure. <clears throat> All right. So, a gapey. Let's get a gapey. This means devotion, unconditional love. Um, it asks you kind of like who you put first in your practice, um, your spiritual practices. Um, it's, it's asking you to know what you put at the center. Um, this is about a spiritual initiation that stretches your capacity to love and serve. It says you sense the earthly as the heavenly and vice versa. Hmm. It may suggest that you need to reassess what you worship every day, consciously or unconsciously. What are you elevating? Where does the secret la the sacred ladder that you climb to ultimately lead? And this has meanings also as service, reverence, honor, and joy. Hmm. Well, that's nice. That's, not, that's a nice message. Okay, so there's the forest. There's a gapey. Let's go to the energy deck now, Leo. We're going to pull some energy cards for you for the month of January 2021. Let's see what we've got for Leo. It's like some, some are wanting to come out and some aren't. This one definitely. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, we'll take them all because I don't have to read from a book for these. Uh, wow, this is a lot. So, woman holding a coin is the first one to get out. So, you know, last week it was a wish that's granted. Um, there's something that may have to do with your prosperity. And then, look, we have the angel of love symbolizing that unconditional love that comes from spirit, the divine, to help you on your path. Then we have the world, and we have patience. Patience. Patience with this love that's coming in. I think it's patience with the uh, pentacle. I'm pretty sure that's what it means, is patience with that pentacle. 
let's go on and the world you know is a completion like in a, a karmic cycle patience also can be about divine timing i want to skip over that and then angel of love unconditional love for reciprocal and giving this is the spell casting deck for leo And he wants to come out. Ah, uh, hang on. <clears throat> closure. So we get closure. <clears throat> all right. We all really, I mean, we know what closure means, but I can look in their their little book um, because they they ascribe magical meanings to some of these words so so here's your let me put this over here so you can see two angels too two angels closure all right the magical meaning for closure is enough is enough it's time to accept an ending sorry is hard to say a breakup serves you well a wonderful opportunity awaits and make room for new energy to sweep in. And that's this new cycle. You know, the world starting a new cycle is something really big, something big going down in your life. Let's get um, some tea leaves and then we'll clarify with the tarot. So here's tea leaves for, oh good, good, for Leo. Ah, nice, see, again, again, you got the same card that you got for um, the week of 28th through the 1st. So here it is again, reconfirmation, needle and thread. This card says, Claw, be careful not to take risks. Be careful not to take risks. Dragon, beware of self delusion. Beware of self delusion. And whale, my favorite card. Great worry over nothing. Great worry over nothing. I think that this pinnacle situation is going to get a lot better. Um, we have it with the great worry over nothing. And then we have patience. And it's kind of tying the two together. So we need to uh, realize that our nervous energy, our anxiety, isn't going to help the situation. What is needed is some patience. All right, so let's get some tarot and let's kind of like define some of these things. Let's put this right there. All right, let's find out. Um, let's see, what is the world about this new karmic cycle? What is that about for Leo, January 2021? All right, all right. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so. When I see the Knight of Wands, I always think something's moving quickly. Something's coming in quickly. Yes, it's a call to be careful not to overlook the details and not to do things haphazardlessly. But there's something coming in quickly and that's what it's wanting you to know is there's something coming in quickly. And I think this do not take risk goes with this card because this card can mean doing things a little carelessly because they are so fast. So just be be on watch for things that come in fast for you since it's touching the pentacles it's probably about your pentacles so patience something will come in fast for you all right for leo for leo let's get a card for the forest getting lost in the forest for leo whoa all right something to do with family <laughs> and the five of pentacles which is makes sense it's why this is showing up with the knight of wands and patience there may be also leo this if this is not about finances it might be about somebody who feels left out in the cold abandoned um something like that and the six of cups you know it can mean family and family ties it can also mean soulmate so something here that's going to move fast 
I think we're going to get out of this energy. I think that's why it's telling you, hey, let's get immersed in what's going on. Accept it and then wait for this great new promise to come in fastly. This wish, the wish that's going to be granted. Great worry over nothing. I love that one. Um, let's see what closure is about. <clears throat> Well, oh good, closure has come when you get victory, when you get victory. So yeah, the six of wands, that's your victory. That's you receiving some recognition from either your peers or your family, or even possibly as big as like the newspapers. So this is a really good thing for you. This is saying that closure will come when you're right about to have victory. It's just beautiful. It's really beautiful. All right. Um, let's see. Let's do let's do a gapey. That was about um, kind of questioning who you worship, what you worship. Said consciously or unconsciously. Let's do that for Leo. Here's that one. Oh, okay. The star, the star. So if there's an Aquarius in your life, that's significant. Um, <clears throat> the star is kind of, I think in this combination, it's kind of warning you that yes, you can have dreams and you can have goals and, and you might start meeting them and you might start getting really happy, but don't forget where the heart is. Don't forget where you got the inspiration. Don't forget the unconditional love that was shown to you so you can show it to others. Um, that's what I think the message is here. And, you know, the, the star is a reminder that your dreams and your goals take time. Like the grass growing that she's watering, you know, she's not going to demand that it grow faster because, well, it's grass and she knows. This is similar to our hopes, our dreams, our goals. They're going to take time. You have to water them flourish them, wait for them to grow. And then she also gives back the water that she's not using. So this can be in reference to like some service to other people too. Okay, so I'm sorry, there was a phone call. Um, so yeah, I think that you're gonna get out of this Five of Pentacles. Let me, let me do another one right before we close. Let's do a Wisdom of the Oracle deck for you, Leo. I believe you got the wishes granted again. Peace, peace, peace will come. Peace and closure will come when you have this victory that you're ultimately meant to have. And I really love your reading. I think it's a really good reading. All right, guys, we might be closing this out. So ah, fingers crossed, that's a really good message. Um, you all have a really nice month in January. Sending love and light out to you. Bye-bye.